Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Mark Absalon and welcome to another edition of Mark Absalon's Video Tips and Tricks. This is kind of different. I'm actually doing a voiceover and a screen capture, so it's kind of interesting. You don't actually get to see me. Well anyway, what are we going to discuss in this video? What am I going to show you how to do this marvelous and amazing and you will find it to be awesome. Well, let's talk about the HD setting a little more, and that's what this tutorial is going to cover. I did a video quite a long time back talking about the HD setting within YouTube, and I got so many people asking me emails about it, I thought, what the heck, I'll do a video tutorial step by step showing you how to do the HD setting within YouTube. The program we're going to use for this is Vegas Pro 8. This will also work in Vegas Pro 7 and Vegas Pro 6. Now, I do not know if this will work in Vegas Movie Studio 9 or any of the lower end programs that Vegas makes, like uh, Vegas Movie Studio 8 or, or etc. So, I don't know if it'll work on that. So, just be cautious in doing this because, from what I know, the Vegas uh, Movie Studio will not allow you to manipulate the codec like the Pro program will. What we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how to take a standard definition widescreen clip or a HD clip that you actually shot in HD and make that play in the HD setting within YouTube. Now go ahead and totally edit your video. Get it all ready and um, if you're using a standard definition widescreen uh, format go ahead and render that out as an AVI in widescreen. If you're using an HD um, video, go ahead and render that out as an intermediate HD file in 720p. Now I'm going to assume you already have that finished and that's where we're going to start this tutorial right now. Go up to File, click File, and New. Now you'll notice the new project will come up and the video tab along with all the other tabs, but the only one we're going to worry about is the video tab. You'll see a template underneath that and drop the cascade menu and you're going to see HDV 720 30 frames a second. That's the one you want to use. You want to use HDV 720 30 frames a second. Now if you're shooting film you'll want to use the 720 24 frames a second. I actually edited this entire clip as 24 frames a second so we're going to use that and you'll see the uh, the width is 1280 and the height is 720 and the field order is progressive so you want to leave that and the uh, pixel aspect ratio is one square now the interesting thing about this is if you'll notice your standard definition widescreen file pixel aspect ratio is 1.2121 but the HD file is square well, don't worry about that too much because we're going to fix that because otherwise it's going to kind of mess up when you're, you know, creating this. And I'll show you how to do that here in a second. The pixel format, 8 megabits. Uh, full uh, resolution rendering quality, you want that to be best. You don't want it to be good. So make sure that's best. The deinterlace de method, uh, it's none. I shot this entirely in progressive. But a lot of you guys that have consumer grade camcorders out there shoot things interlaced because a lot of the consumer camcorders are interlaced. So you might want to click blend fields to get that interlace kind of, you know, taken care of. Go ahead and hit OK once you have everything set here. And it's going to be ready to go. Now, as you can see, I'm going to use one of my spare change episodes up here that I've already created and we'll click that and drag that down to our timeline. Go ahead and let it do its whole little thing there to get the peaks taken care of. Now you're going to notice when it's down here something weirds going on in the preview window. We've got a black bar on the top and a black bar on the bottom and it kind of looks like it's stretched out a little bit and it doesn't look right. Well we need to fix that and the way to fix it is you go down to the clip go to the event pan crop click that and the window is going to come open go over to the left hand side and you'll see different things like position rotation source workspace all of that now these all may be collapsed what we want to work with is the source 
Now if your source is collapsed, go ahead and double click that and it will come open and you will see one that says maintain aspect ratio. It'll say yes, we wanna change that to no. So click that and click no. Now go over here and close the crop window and voila, we have no lines at the top and no line at the bottom and it doesn't look stretched like it did so we've taken care of that problem so that's a uh, it's pretty cool that takes care of the entire problem that you have with F SD widescreen now since we've done that go ahead and double click the track so that we can get the uh, render loop region uh, verified here and uh, go up to file click file render as Give it a second here there we go and uh, we're gonna put this underneath the 12 stages category that I have here it's been out before uh, so we we're gonna render this guy and uh, we need to change to save as type now you get a lot of different files you can render this as but the one that we want to use and the one that we're actually going to change the code act is the main concept AVC AAC MPEG 4 so click that and you will see the template come up and it should say default template and if you click over on the side you're gonna get these other templates like the Apple iPod etc and I have these two I created here the YouTube HD 720 isn't going to be there unless you create it or whatnot but but anyway keep that on default template go over to custom click custom and you're gonna have a window open up to customize the template and um, you'll see at the top uh, default template will be highlighted let's go ahead and change that to HD YouTube and uh, we'll save that and we want the video rendering quality at best now in the description part of it you can change that to whatever you want to with the audio or whatnot um, or just leave it blank it doesn't matter really what you want to do with it you can always come back to it now once you've got your video rendering quality at its best you don't want it on good or anything like that go down to the bottom and click the video tab now you'll see here frame size it's still gonna have the multimedia size here which is 320 by 240 which is something we don't want click the drop down menu on that and click custom frame size and we'll want to change this to 1280 by 720 and profile on main is a good thing so let's leave that there uh, frame rate now if you're shooting film you'll want to change that to 24 frames a second or if you're just shooting 30 frames a second keep it on 30 frames if you're shooting PAL change it to the PAL standard whichever format you're actually working in now your field order I'm gonna keep that as progressive because that's what we want your aspect ratio you will keep that the same and uh, you'll keep all of this the same uh, make sure a variable bitrate is selected for the bitrate click the two pass because that will be something that you will need then let's go down to maximum bits per second we will want to change that to 4 million bits or 4 megabytes the average bits per second we want to be 2 million bits or 2 megabytes now you can make that a little higher it's kind of up to you I've noticed when I've gone higher than 2 megabytes YouTube sometimes messes it up so you might want to stay with the 2 megabyte because that's pretty much the download rate that YouTube gives you for HD videos once you have these set go over to audio and you can keep your uh, bitrate for the audio at 128 but I like to change it to 192 because 192,000 is a lot better than 128,000 once you have that done go up and click save to save the template and click OK now saving this template is a good thing because then once you have the template saved all you have to do is click on it on the drop down menu uh, so that you don't have to you know create it again so I highly 
suggest saving this and creating a description for it too. Uh, once we have that done, let's go ahead and name this. Let's name this Spare HD and click Save. Now you're going to notice when this is rendering, it's going to do two passes. It's going to render twice because it's rendering the best quality that it can for the uh, MPEG-4 codec it's creating. So just wait. It's going to take it a little while, but it's uh, going to be cool. And once the video is actually done, you can upload it onto YouTube and it will be in the HD setting once YouTube has finally rendered it. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, while I've got your attention, um, you might want to listen to this too. I'll, we're actually doing a subscriber-based contest on my channel. Every 10,000 subscribers, I'm giving away some really cool stuff. Uh, if you want to click this link right up here, it'll take you to the current uh, rate that we're going and the prices that we're having. But some of the prices we're going to be doing for this, we're doing everything from green screens to light kits to software to you name it. So it's going to be some really cool things. And the way to enter is subscribing because a couple of randomly drawn subscribers are going to be receiving these cool prizes. I'm also doing a uh, prize for a commenter on my videos. It could be whether this video that I'm doing here or it could be another video that I've done. I don't really know which video is going to be chosen yet but um, you comment on the videos and uh, if you're the lucky random commenter you'll win a cool prize too. Also, I'm going to pick one of my random friends on MySpace. So, add me on MySpace, for God's sake, because you might win a very cool prize. And we're doing this with the subscribers, the comments, and the MySpace. Every 10,000 subscribers, the Mark Absalon channel. Um, yeah, so be sure and subscribe, comment, and add me on MySpace. Another thing, go over to markabsalon.com and check out my uh, forums, my training tutorial DVDs, which help me do videos like this, and you'll learn a lot of information from it because the online videos only have so much, but the training tutorial DVDs have a ton more info. So they're well worth the money, and they're very reasonably priced. Well, guys, I'm going to uh, get out of here now, but I hope I've explained and demystified on how to make a SD widescreen file or any HD file you have uh, work well on Vegas Pro and upload onto YouTube as a, quote, HD file on YouTube. Well, you guys have a great afternoon, evening, or morning, wherever you might be.